Kia ora, more strong winds on the way as we head into Saturday as the next feature moves in from the south and the west. As we head through Friday night time, we'll find wet weather feeds in towards Fjordland. A heavy rain watch in place for you, but it's strong winds. These northwesterlies ahead of this cold front moving northwards up the South Island and up on towards those central parts of the country as we head through Saturday, which would like to bring some of the stronger winds as we head through the next couple of days. So there are already some strong wind watches and warnings in place. We'll start off by taking a look at the winds across the south line. Now, as this front moves in, these northwesterly winds will be increasing through Fjordland, Southland, Otago, and particularly up through the Canterbury High Country. The purple colours here showing the strongest winds, those areas where the winds will reach gale force, or even severe gale. And I think we are going to find in those exposed areas of the Canterbury High Country, the winds reaching severe gale with gusts perhaps around about 130 kilometres an hour. And it's worth saying that while we find those northwesterly winds easing for many parts of the South Island, these southwesterly winds that return towards the coastal parts of Southland, Stewart Island and Dunedin will continue right the way through in towards Sunday morning. Some strong even gale force winds for you right the way through the night time as well, making it feel a fair bit cooler. So there are already plenty of severe weather watches and warnings in place across the South Island. You can see those wind watches run right the way from Fjordland to Otago, up through the Canterbury Plains. Gusts here could be as much as 100 kilometers an hour in the most exposed areas. But the strong wind warning for the strongest winds will be through the Canterbury High Country. And this starts from about 5 a.m. on Saturday. It runs right the way through till 5 p.m. with the winds perhaps reaching as much as a gust of 130 kilometers an hour in the most exposed areas. You'll also notice that we've got warnings up towards Marlborough and across the Cook Strait as well. And we are going to find those winds increasing during the morning time on Saturday. Again, as we head through in towards about lunchtime, we we'll find those winds perhaps reaching warning criteria, particularly in those exposed parts of Marlborough around the sounds there, but also around the tops of the Rimataka Hill and down towards parts of Wairapa, those southern parts of the Wellington region as well. So unsurprisingly, we've also got strong wind warnings uh, in place for those areas. And these run from about midday, from noon on Saturday until it's Saturday afternoon, about 5 p.m. again through there. And you'll also notice that warning runs up towards the Tauroa district and there's a watch out for the winds across the central parts of Hawke's Bay. So a windy old story, particularly for Saturday. The good news is Sunday is looking like a quieter day, but as you can see, we've got plenty of strong wind watches and warnings across the country for Saturday. So head along to the Met Service website for all the latest information and all the updates on the forecast. That's www.metservice.com.